I'm a little confused. Everyone does things for different, you know, motivations. And some of the right ones, some of the wrong ones. But I'm confused that they would go up against that horse against. They, they raced against that horse once and they didn't do that well. Is a very talented young fighter. Uh, he's undefeated. He hasn't learned how to lose. He's a, he's a terrific fighter. He's only getting better. He has shown the ability to learn, the ability to grow, the ability to when he gets more seasoning, which he has his last few fights. He's he's shown that improvement. He's 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 on the right path. There's no doubt about it. I just don't know if he's got enough seasoning now to beat Canelo. I put him in the same way as Magia. Magia had more fights, I get it, but he didn't have that level of fights on that stage to really deal with Canelo. He had a lot of fights, and, and I love Magia. Uh, the way he handles himself, everything. The way he handles himself before, after fights, uh, what he does in the ring, the heart, the chin, everything. But I felt that he did not go into the Canelo fight. Munguia just didn't have enough experience. And that's part of the reason I felt Canelo and his people felt comfortable picking him, quite frankly. Nothing against Canelo. I mean, you got to be smart. You, you know, that's part of the game. You manage. You're, so, especially if you're the golden boy and you have uh, the ability to pick your spots because you bring the money. So, obviously, you're going to have the power to do that. Where someone else can't do that because they don't bring the money. They don't bring the pay-per-view. They don't bring what Canelo brings. So he's earned that, but that's a fact. And I believe that Belenga's in the same, sort of the same boat, where he has improved. McGee had improved, but he didn't. He still needed a few more fights at that level to seize him enough to handle a guy like Canelo, that experience. And I think that Belenga still needs a little more. Still, but you know what? There's one X factor. Canelo's a little older now, and and that's the one thing that he's battling against. You know, I, there's a tiny bit of slip. It's there is, if you're going to be honest, a little bit. But look, he's still terrific, Canelo. But every nobody wins 100% of the time against Father Time. Sooner or later, Father Time gets you. And I don't know where Canelo is in that in that battle yet, but I know he's getting there. And maybe, maybe that he's gotten a little older since the McGeer fight. That could play for Belenga where he gets old. Because there will be a day if he stays around long enough where you say, oh, wow, he got old. Like, as you're watching it, you say, wow, he got old. Wow. Ooh. Well, he really did. <laughs> and so I don't know if that day is coming. But aside from that, I don't think he's here yet. But aside from that, I, I, I have to like Canelo again because uh, same thing. Belanga, I think, just needs a little bit more seasoning. You, a little more time. You know, some of the fans are upset with him and they're claiming they're going to boycott Canelo Berlanga, but he's going head up against UFC uh, Nocek. Um, do you, how do you think that's going to affect You know, he is going head up, and I'm a little confused by it. I'll tell you why. We know Canelo does good numbers, and we understand all that. But it doesn't seem like anybody beats UFC. UFC, and here, and you always got to put the proof to what you say. All I'll say is this, do we forget a couple years ago where Canelo and them actually waited and actually put back the time they came out? They were supposed to come out about an hour earlier and they actually put it back because they didn't want to go against UFC. Nate Diaz Masvidal yeah, won. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. I didn't forget that. Right. I didn't forget that. Did every did, did Canelo's people forget that? I don't know, but I didn't forget that. You conceded that you weren't going to go against you. You were there. It was the same night, and you had to wait because somebody whispered in your ear, "Hey, we, we ain't going to get an audience we want to get if we go on now because they're watching UFC." <laughs> they're they're sort of in the so I'm I'm just a little yeah. So I'm a little confused. Everyone does things for different, you know, motivations. Uh, some of the right ones, some of the wrong ones. But I'm confused that they would go up against that horse against. They, they raced against that horse once, and they didn't do that well. They
They didn't come in the money. So I'm just a little confused that they're going, maybe it's ego, maybe it's like now we, we, we don't, whatever, whatever it is. But it's going to be curious to see, isn't it? That if they getting ready to come in the ring and then all of a sudden they say, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to, we're going to do a little dance and song act now um, because we have to wait a little while until the, uh, the UFC has passed by. I don't know. Tyson Fury Tyson Fury's keeping the same team for the rematch with Alexander Usyk. He should keep the same team. <laughs> they got him here. He should be loyal. He should keep the same team. They've done a good job. Uh, they, there are things that he can add to, that he can improve in. I'm sure his people will make him aware of it. Uh, there definitely are things. But, uh, well, I mean, look, there, there's things that he, he maybe could have used the uppercut more because it was very effective in that sixth round. Maybe he could have used it throughout the fight a little more, a little more, maybe. Um, you know, maybe there's things that he could have just added off of controlling him with the jab. I have a saying, you set the table with the jab and you eat with the right hand, right? Maybe he could have, you know, could have went to the refrigerator a little more and brought out a few or uh, to wherever the stock box is, where, wherever he keeps the right hands and brought them out with the jab a little more. Maybe he could have done that because he was definitely doing well with the jab. Uh, he was setting the table. Maybe he could have ate a little more, um, definitely. But he was in there with a special guy. A special guy, a guy whose greatest talent, nobody understood what his greatest talent going in. Oh, he's too small, he's too this, he's too... No, no. He, he does one thing as great as anybody has ever done it. He finds a way to win. Usyk has always done that. He, that that's a talent. That's a, there's, that's a special quality. Finds a way to win. Just, just finds a way, and and um, that was that that was obviously uh, on display there that he did that, and uh, and again, I, I applaud Fury. Yeah, I, I like to me the most important trait we can have as human beings is to be loyal. Most important thing, you know what? Why? Because it shows strength. Because it ain't always easy to be loyal. It ain't always easy. So um, I applaud him for that. I think he's doing the right thing. There are things that he can improve. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but uh, he'll be doing it against a guy that is the same special guy. And, and one other thing plays into that rematch. I always say this when I was doing all the fights on ESPN. That the reason I protect these fights, I always stood up for fighters. I got myself fired uh, for doing it. And I, and I said when a fighter got robbed, so I, I did it to the point where I'm no longer the broadcaster. That's okay, because I can live with that. I can live with that. Uh, and, and God's been good to me. I'm doing other things, so I'm okay. But I thank you. I always say that people don't understand why I would get so riveted and go after these judges and go after all these corrupt people and call them out. Because every time a fighter gets in a ring, he gets out of the ring with less of himself. That's why. He gets out of the ring with less of himself. He does. It's just a, it's a physiological fact. And both those fighters left that ring that night, that great night, they left with less of themselves. That's going to play in the rematch. Who left more of themselves in the ring in that last historic, iconic night? That's going to play. That's going to be important.